How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Lucid. Ended up having a catalyst that came through today inside of the market. Ended up spiking, getting to a high of $27.25. You guys know how I talked about a key level being at $27.50. So of course, I want to make sure you guys are prepared going into tomorrow. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is a technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna go on Fintel taking a look at the recent short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and also the recent press release. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Lucid. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $26.65, being up 4.96%. On the low, it tested $25.12. And then on the high, testing $27.00 and 25 cents when we take a look at our volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 30.484 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 22.386 million shares so we did have above average volume on the day and it's part of the reasons why we saw some strength in the stock now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the rsi down below it is at 52.59 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are below the 100 day we're also below the 200 day the 50 day but we are above the 21 day EMA so like I was pointing out in yesterday's video we've been seeing a lot of strength it has been forming some higher lows and what we saw for today due to a catalyst we saw a high of $27.25 I've also talked about how key it was for Lucid to get above $27.50 so if it's able to get above $27.50 going into tomorrow then I'm going to be looking to see if we can get here to the 50 day right here at $29.34. If it decides to have a pullback or it wants to consolidate, then you're going to want to see if it can hold up or continue to have strength at this $25 level. We have the 21-day EMA at $25.21, so that's an area you're going to want to keep an eye on, and it makes a lot of sense since we did have a low of $25.12. So if this level was ever going to break, then you could see Lucid probably testing around a $23 range, but of course you'd want to see support step in and have buyers wanting to take advantage of that dip but one thing that is clear it is looking very bullish and it's been on a strong uptrend let's move on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the short interest information for lucid so for the off exchange short volume ratio it is at 54.12 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 3.23 million shares scrolling down further on the page the short shares availability is at 90,000 updated 20 nine minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 8.39 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we could see for the close of the 18th it was at 51.17 and then for the close of the 21st being at 54.12 so what this shows us lucid does continue to have short squeeze potential now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for lucid so we see on the inflow it's at 198 and then on the outflow it's 100 127. Taking a look at the breakdown even further, it was 58.54. On the medium, it was 87.14. And then on the small, it was 52.48. Keep in mind, these numbers are in the millions. And to explain it even further, when we take a look at the inflow, it's 198 million. And when we take a look at the large, the medium, and the small, it's pretty much divvied up to that amount. So that is the breakdown. Also, when we take a look at the outflow side, which is 127 million on the large it was 0 0.88 on the medium it was 77.67 and then on the small it was 47.98 so all these numbers that i just listed 
adds up to the 127 million that you see on the outflow. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, from March the 22nd, it is at 57.66 million being an inflow. So what this shows us as far as whales, institutions and so forth, they were loading up on shares. And when we analyze the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, so this is people like you and myself who are buying it through their brokerage apps. We see on the small, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at the large, it represents whales, institutions, and funds. Like I stated, we had more buying than we had selling. And it was a big difference. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 1.85%. So it continues to be a consistent range for Lucid. We know many are holding on to their positions. And when that news catalyst came through, I know it did bring in the attention of a lot of traders and it's part of the reasons why we saw that big spike and now it's starting to cool off a little bit. So we'll talk about it further inside of the final thoughts. So let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for Lucid, before we get started, let's go over the recent press release that came out today, which discusses why we saw a big spike. So here's why Lucid Group shares are rising today. Shares are trading higher after the company announced its Dream Drive Pro Advanced Driver Assistance System will add new features in the future, building on NVIDIA Corporation drive Hyperion technology. Lucid's proprietary Dream Drive Pro is designed to grow in capability over time, blending sophisticated hardware and regular over-the-air software updates with an in-house software stack built on NVIDIA Drive. Lucid plans to further collaborate with NVIDIA on future products. The seamless integration of NVIDIA software-defined compute architecture and drive operating system provides a powerful basis for Lucid to further enhance what Dream Drive can do in the future, all of which can be delivered to vehicles over the air, said Michael Bell, Senior Vice President of Digital at Lucid. This can benefit every facet of the Dream Drive Pro experience. So the reason why this is a very strong catalyst, as far as for the software that is used in Lucid vehicles, utilizing the NVIDIA technology can bring in a lot more possibilities, a lot more things that they can do to increase the pleasure of the driving experience. We know that they're targeting the EV segment and most specifically the luxury segment. So I feel this is a very good look right here and it's very simple due to the fact that they could do an over the air update. You don't have to go out and say, well, you know what? I need to go out and buy another Lucid to get this. So I want you guys to keep a very close eye on this, continue to do some more homework and due diligence. And I hope that we get some more information to see what can come of this. Now let's talk about the price action, which I know many of you are looking forward to. So what I want to see from Lucid, I want to see it hold up the $25 level. If it can continue to do this, then we could possibly see that move going to 2750. And you guys know how long I've been talking about this area. That's why I wasn't surprised when it got to 2725, it ended up pulling back. There's a lot of resistance in that pricing zone, but going into tomorrow, if you can get above 2725, then you could see that move going to 2750. And upon getting to 2750, you want to see it hold up, maybe have some more consolidation, and then see if it can make that move to 29. Like I stated in the previous video, it has gone through the death cross. So there's going to be many who are going to be looking to take short positions. And that's part of the reasons why when we had that increased buying volume, you've seen a strong spike inside of the stock. I was surprised that it didn't go any further due to the fact we saw strength in the market as a whole. We also did see Tesla that tore it up overall on the day. But of course, this week is still young. So we got to look forward to see what happens as it progresses. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, Lucid does continue to have short squeeze potential. And we can clearly see that there's still a lot of demand in the market for Lucid shares. So I'm going to continue to keep an eye on this. I'm going to keep you guys inside of the loop. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.